Hi, and welcome back. Um, today we are going to do episode two of our Sunday Celebration Retreat Series. So last time in episode one, we talked about the guest list for this very special party. Um, and today we are going to go ahead and we're going to talk about the decorations we use and the clothing we wear and um, even the dishes that we use at the party. So if you are having a big party or celebration at your house, you might hang up some decorations. You might um, wear special clothes or you might um, go out and get some special, maybe some paper plates with a certain character on them or a certain design on them that you really like. Or maybe if it's a super special occasion, maybe you might even have, maybe your mom or grandma or somebody has a special set of dishes that they use for just really special occasions. And you'd get those out for, for your party. So that's what we're gonna talk about today is the decorations, the clothes, the dishes, all of those things that, that we use to make the Sunday party a very special party. So we're gonna start out with the decorations. Um, and I think you can see behind me, you can see behind me on the wall there, the crucifix. Now the decorations at our Sunday party, they're not, they're not just there just to be decorations and just to maybe look pretty. Most of the decorations that we use at church and that we use for our Sunday party, they're supposed to remind us of something. They're supposed to um, help us to pray. And so when we see the crucifix, it reminds us of that great, great, great love that Jesus has for us, that Jesus loves us so much, he was willing to die on the cross for us so that we could receive him in the Eucharist and live with him forever in heaven. So that's, that's the first decoration that we'll take a look at is that, that crucifix on the wall. That's one of the very first things that you even see when you walk into our church. And so now I'm going to get up and we're going to take a little walk around the church. So we are going to come right over here. And I want to show you this candle. Now this is called the Easter candle. It's also called the baptismal candle. Um, this candle was lit for the first time on Easter, at the Easter Vigil, so the night before Easter Sunday, this candle was lit for the very first time. And it's to remind us that Jesus is the light of the world. Sometimes in our lives, things can, be, seem, can seem pretty dark and dreary, but if we remember that Jesus loves us, Jesus is the light. Jesus can make that darkness go away. Jesus is the light of the world. And so sometimes, just like we might have candles at our parties at home, especially on birthdays, um, we have candles at the church. And the candles remind us that Jesus is the light. All right, we are going to go ahead. And I want to just, we're just going to pan this around. I want you to look at all these pretty windows that are in our church. See all those windows? And every one of them has a different symbol on it, a different picture on it. And they all tell stories about Jesus. There's one that has a dove on it to remind us of the Holy Spirit. There's one that has a cross on it to remind us of Jesus. So all of the, all of the windows have pictures in them to remind us different stories about Jesus and about our faith. So the next time you're in church, take a look at all those different windows and see if you can figure out what the pictures might all mean. Okay. The next thing I want to show you is something that's especially pretty right now during the Easter season. So look at all of these beautiful flowers. Look at all these beautiful flowers. 
And again, the flowers show us the joy of Easter, the joy of new life, that, you know, spring is a time of new life and Easter is a time of new life. So there's all those decorations. Now we are, I want to, I want to point out one other decoration on the wall way over here. Okay. When you come into our church, you will see these on the wall. There are 14 of them and they're all around the whole church. So again, the next time you come to church, I want you to look for these. They are called the Stations of the Cross. So the Stations of the Cross is, they are pictures that tell the story of Jesus on his way to the cross. So again, they're not just decorations just to look nice, but they're to remind us of something. Again, those stations of the cross remind us of how much Jesus loves us. And we've got other statues in our church too. We've got this statue of, up here of Mary, Jesus' mother. And then on the other side, we have a statue of um, Mary and Joseph and Jesus as a child. So we have statues in our, in our church to remind us of Jesus. And then one last decoration I, I wanna show you. It's right here. These are votive candles. And what people can do is people can come and light these candles and say a prayer, a special prayer, whatever prayer is in their heart. And then all the other people in the church, when they come and they see a candle is burning here, you can see there's one burning right now. So somebody out there has a special prayer in their heart and they lit that candle so that when we come into church and we see that candle lit, we can pray that very special prayer too. Even though we don't know what it is, we can pray, Jesus, whatever that intention is for that candle, we want to pray for that person. Okay, so our prayers can go up and, and join the prayers of the person that lit that candle. So those are the decorations that I really wanted to bring your attention to. We're now going to move on to, we're going to move on to some of the special dishes that we use. Okay, so we've got, I'm up here at the altar now. So here we're up at the altar. Now, we know that the altar isn't just called a table. At home, when we have parties, we might gather around a table. Well, at church, we gather around the altar. And at our tables at home, we might have a tablecloth. Well, at our church, we have an altar cloth for the altar. Okay? And at home, we might have napkins. At church, we have what's called purificators. That's a big word, purificators. Now at home, we might have plates at our party. At church, we have what's called a pattern. And the pattern, that is where the host goes, the Eucharist goes on the pattern. And again, at home, we might have cups or glasses. At church, we have the chalice. Chalice. Now, these are all special holy items, holy dishes. We wouldn't go and put our pizza on the pattern, okay? Because the pattern was, is set aside to be used for God. The pattern is set aside for something holy. The same thing with the chalice. We wouldn't go and put our chocolate milk in the chalice because it is set aside for something holy. 
Okay, so that that's a little bit about the dishes that we use at our party. Now, I'm gonna let you take a sneak peek into what's called the sacristy. So here we go. The sacristy is the place where um, Father Evans, Deacon Bob, the altar servers, this is the room where they all get ready for mass. Okay, and when we're back here, I want to talk to you about the special clothing that, that we wear at our Sunday party. And not just us, but really the special clothing that Father Evans wears at the Sunday party. So we're gonna come over here, and we're gonna start here because I have to show you this one first. So this white garment, this is, these are all called vestments, whatever, all the clothes that, that the priest wears, they're called vestments. So this white garment is called an alb, an alb, and this is what he wears. You, you normally can't see this unless you can see it kind of hanging out of the bottom a little bit you can see on Father Evans. Um, so the alb goes underneath what's called a chasuble. Look at all these pretty colors, amazing colors. And they all, just like I said about the decorations, the clothing all has a certain meaning as well. So you see we've got red here. Red, you'll see the priest wearing red when he's celebrating um, on Good Friday, the death of Jesus, the blood of Jesus. He will wear red anytime we're celebrating the feast day of a martyr. A martyr is somebody who died or shed their blood for their faith, okay? White, he wears white. Um, right now during the Easter season, he's wearing white. Green, he wears green during what is called ordinary time. Ordinary time. Now, ordinary time reminds us that Jesus is with us all the time. It doesn't have to be Easter. It doesn't have to be Christmas. Jesus is with us all the time, even in those ordinary moments. And then we have this purple color. And purple, Father will wear purple during Lent to get us ready for Easter, and also during Advent to get us ready for Christmas. And you'll see these, this is called a rose color. We don't see this one used very often. He uses this one um, during one special weekend during Advent. So we don't see this one, we don't see this one very often. All right, so those that's just a little bit about um, the priest's special clothes. Um, and we should also think about how we dress for the Sunday party, right? If we are coming to celebrate a huge party with Jesus, we should be dressed special as well, okay? Not just, not just for the first time we celebrate. I know you all have special clothes already picked out for First Communion, okay? I know you do. And, and you're all gonna look fantastic, right? But I want you to think about your Second Communion and your Third Communion. Are you gonna wear special clothes for that too? Because they're all special. Every time we come to the Sunday party, every time we receive Jesus and put him right inside of us, we should be dressed special, right? Because it's an amazing thing that we get invited to this party. All the time, we get to party with Jesus. So we should consider it an extra special party every time. Not just the first time. The first time is, is very, very extra special, right? And I know you are all going to come just, you're going to be beautiful and handsome and and I can't wait to see you. But we need to remember that our second time we get to receive Jesus is just as important as that first time, right? So we should be dressed special 
every time we come to church. Okay, so that is a little bit about the decorations, the dishes, and the clothing for a special Sunday party. I will see you next time where we are going to talk about the special food for the party. And who doesn't love food, right? So I'll see you next time.